Okay, this is the seam finish sample. You we're gonna do two different kinds of seam finishes. We're actually gonna end up with two separate pieces of fabric after we're done with this. But we're gonna start out with two five by five squares um, stacked on each other so that they're lined up very nicely. Two five by five squares. Then you're going to sew a 5 8 inch seam allowance on each side. A 5 8 inch seam allowance here and a 5 8 inch seam allowance over there. So the 5 8 inch is marked. You're gonna put the edge of your fabric all the way onto that 5 8 inch. You don't want it to cover it at all. It wants to be right up along the edge. You're gonna backstitch at the beginning. And I like to backstitch all the way up to within one stitch of the edge, that back edge of the fabric. Then you're gonna go forward. Keep it on that 5 8 inch seam allowance so that it's nice and even all the way across. So we're just gonna go all the way to the end. Then you're gonna backstitch. One, two, three, and then to the end again. Then you're going to repeat that process on the other side at a 5 8 inch seam allowance on the other side. Make sure it's nice and flat so you don't have a bubble in the middle. So I have two 5 8 inch seam allowances on each side. We're gonna make sure that we clip all of these threads because we do not leave long threads on our sewing projects. It makes it very unprofessional um, and you'll get marked down from me if you do so. Okay, so I've done my two 5 8 inch seam allowance and I've trimmed off my threads um, to make it nice and clean. Now, um, I'm going to cut this into two pieces so that we can do two separate seam finishes. Um, I'm just gonna lay it down and I'm gonna eyeball the center of the fabric and I'm gonna cut as straight of a line as I can right across the center. That's not the side of the fabric that we're gonna be worried about. We're gonna be using this other side of the fabric um, where the seam is, so if this is a little bit off angle, that's fine. It's not a, not a big deal. Um, so now you have two pieces of fabric, each with a 5 8 inch seam allowance on the side. And I'm going to show you how to do two different types of seam finishes. We finish our seams, do what's called a seam finish, so that the this raw edge of fabric over here that is on the inside of your shirt or the inside of your project, it's so that it doesn't fray over time. So we finish those seams so that it gives it a nice edge that won't fray. So the first one we're going to do is called a zigzag seam finish. And we're gonna zigzag all the way down the edge, very, very, very edge of this fabric. Um, I'm gonna press the number two um, of the stitch selector. I'm gonna change my setting so that it, it's on the zigzag setting. So however that is on your machine at home or um, it's a number two on these machines at school. So I've pressed the number two. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's gonna zigzag back and forth right through that opening. And I want the very, very edge of the needle to go right on the edge here. And then it's gonna zigzag back over and then come right to the edge and back over and right to the edge and back over. And it's gonna do that all the way down. And so we want that zigzag to be right on the edge. I know this is different than how we did it in ZCA, but this is the proper way to do it. All right, so here we go, zigzagging the edge. And if it's a little bit away from the edge, you're gonna lead it in so that it's right on the edge of the fabric, just barely going off the edge, if not barely at all, just right, right on the edge. And you can do a little bit of backstitch if you like. And see how that's on the very, very edge. It includes those very edge, edge threads. And so this will not um, fray over time. 
Um, you can see that I started off just a little bit, then immediately I got all the way to the edge. Um, sometimes it's hard to eyeball where that edge is. Um, and if I were doing this on my project, I might actually go in and trim that extra part off so that it's right to the edge of the, the threads without cutting the threads. Um, but that is a zigzag finish. Okay, this is how you're going to finish off the zigzag edge seam finish. We're going to open this up and then you're going to iron your seam open and to one side. Because we zigzagged them together, we're just gonna fold it and iron it to one side. If we had zigzagged them separately, which we do a lot of times for different reasons, you would open it up and it would um, you would open up and iron it flat that way. Um, but because we have zigzagged them together, we're going to open it up and make sure that it's going to one side. Notice I'm giving the iron some time to let the heat sink in and really get all the way through to into the fabric. Um, a little bit of slight spray, that was a lot more than I thought it would be. A slight spray is good too, and it will cause a little bit of steam as you're ironing. Your goal is that by the time you've ironed it, um, that the steam will have dissipated and it will have all um, evaporated, all of the water will have evaporated from your fabric. You don't wanna spray it so much that it's still wet after you've ironed it. So this is your finished product, um, and you're gonna write your name on this, and you'll turn it in with your, num with your um, seam finish sample. Okay, so now we're going to do what's called a clean finish. And so on your fabric, we have a right side at this point, right? Because the seam is in there. So if this were a project, this would be our right side and this would be our wrong side where you can see the seam and the seam allowance. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold in towards the wrong side. We're gonna take one side of the seam allowance, fold it in a quarter of an inch all the way down and iron it into place because after we iron it, we're going to sew it into place. So we're gonna fold it a quarter of an inch and iron it. I find that the easiest way to do that is to leave it laying flat like it is when you sewed it and then you can fold it in a quarter of an inch right here and iron it. So you can bump and use your, use your seam gauge. So it's on a one inch right now you see that? It's a one inch right now. Here's the three quarters of an inch. There's a half inch. And there's our quarter of an inch measurement all the way down there. So we're gonna fold it in a quarter of an inch all the way across and iron that down into place at a quarter of an inch. Again, giving the iron time to get the heat all the way in through all of those fibers and through it so that it'll have a nice crisp edge. Now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna fold it a quarter of an inch. Oh, it's hot. I'm gonna fold it a quarter of an inch again. I'm gonna fold it a quarter of an inch again on this side so that I can properly sew them into place and do a proper seam finish. Okay, we're gonna take this back to the sewing machine now and finish our clean finish. Okay, we are gonna start sewing on the bottom edge. I don't wanna start sewing on the top edge because if I sew, I'm gonna sew on the bottom so that I can keep this top edge out of my, my way. We're gonna sew an eighth of an inch away from this outer edge. Make sure that you are on a number one stitch 
so that you're not on your zigzag anymore. So we're doing a straight stitch. So we're gonna do an eighth of an inch away from this outer edge of this fold. Do you see where we're at right there? Then we're gonna sew an eighth of an inch from this edge. The eighth of an inch measurement is on the inside of the presser foot. It's that inside of the metal. You're gonna line it up right there with the inside of the metal. Um, the outside of the metal is your quarter inch and the inside of the metal is your eighth of an inch. So we're gonna line up the edge of the presser foot with that inside edge right there. We're gonna back stitch. So we're gonna go forward three, backwards three, and then we're gonna go forward to the end. Keeping this out of your way and keeping the edge of the presser foot on the, the inside edge of the presser foot against the edge of your fabric. Okay, so now that is an eighth of an inch away from the edge and what it did is it secured that fold into place. Here's the original 5 eighths inch seam and now this is securing that fold into place um, so that this edge gets tucked in and, and it won't bother you and it won't fray. Okay, now we're gonna repeat the exact same thing on the other side where we're gonna push this out of the way and we're gonna go on the inside of the presser foot. We're gonna backstitch at the beginning and at the end. Okay, there we go. We have both of them sewn at an eighth of an inch from the edge separately. And now we're gonna go back to the iron and finish this off. Okay, now we're gonna finish this off by ironing it into um, position. Um, we're gonna iron this seam open um, on both sides. So it's gonna, this is your right side. It's gonna be open on that side and it's gonna be open and flat on this side. So we're just going to open it up the best that we can Iron it that way. Then I like to give it a nice iron right down the center so it's nice and crisp down the center. And those are our two seam finishes. We have a zigzag edge seam finish, and we have a clean finish seam finish.